at Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Commander Hubert de Burr rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle.
While the castle's garrison thwarted the first French attack and prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. A skilled bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. Determined to keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. CC to work, eh? They are we are Baron Uter, too, folk. Del Fende is me. Arita, what need is worker? Shh. See they to work. Do they men? Shh. Hester's folly in there, Hester. Yeah, good men, better hard way men. Sweet, yes. It can do. What need is beyond Safe to have this. Hearken at Darler. Till then, they that reach a new. With his bowmen assembled. Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. What need is they have done? Press the very end they have steps to. Step us to it, are we then? To don so far can a stare at Uta every chance. Hold us at answer. Where have us? Stared as Bayon asks. Flock and they will do, so hurt. Kiara, you sleepily. On the stairs. Up men, better, our way men. Asteria, rate, our way men. Safe. Yeah, yeah. So are they hetting? Reaper railings aren't ongoing. Every charge, and ten death. See they to bear and oot in every charge. No! On the highway! 
Willikin's resistance force continued to grow, adding more skilled men to its ranks. Hestes and Oz stepeth to it, Arway men. Sewers, they and ten it can do. Then Hester, so are their bed. Fuse told and ten. Some French reinforcements made it to their siege camp, adding more numbers to their next attack on the castle. Fontifortas, Bereth. Tin Winlet, Bereth. Yarek holds it down. It kill build a that for they. Cease the hesters. It's cease they to work. Kidlock, 
Pierre Hasteria, Rapre Seriende Hestes. The French launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy could not attack at full strength. With Willikin's archers weakening the siege from outside the castle, the garrison at Dover repelled the French attack. Willikin ordered his archers to resume their strikes on the French reinforcements. on the stairs. Pierre Hestas. 
Willikin spotted a group of English fighters engaged in battle with the enemy and rushed to their aid. Every charm? What need it be undone? 
Reinforced by their new arrivals, the French army was at full strength. Dover braced for a full-scale attack. The hardy English garrison held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. What need it be undone? See they to worker. If he'll build a that for they. Yeah, the 
Folk, already ready. Hebrew has stepped to him. Out of we are talking on the short. See, fade to work. building a knot. The combined grit of the English garrison and Williken's surprise attacks 
ensured that Dover hadn't fallen yet. Now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands. <laughs>